like, honestly, I want like a crazy boyfriend to ruin my life. Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be giving you my top five songs of 2018. I narrowed this list down to five because I had originally 15 or 16, but you guys know here on this channel, we don't do the long videos because honey, who has time to watch 15 or 16 minute videos? This list is mostly pop because as you guys know, I'm a huge pop music fanatic. But honestly, there are some songs in here that are from more known artists and there are some songs that are from lesser known artists. So I think I have a pretty good mix. And just a disclaimer, this list is in no particular order. These are just the top five songs that I truly appreciate from this year. But before we get into the video, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications for when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And without further ado, let's get into the list. The first song on the list is I Don't Want To by Alicia Cara. Alicia Cara's album, first of all, is definitely one of my favorites of the year. The album is truly amazing. It is called The Pains of Growing. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. But her album is honestly just a work of art. I think one of the best this year. The songs on the album are so substantial. And this one in particular is about getting over a heartbreak, but not wanting to get over the pain of losing someone dear to you. And just the simplicity of the background elements in the song, as well as the lyrics, makes this honestly one of the most heartbreaking songs of the year. Not even gonna lie, I've had a good couple of cries to this song just because it's just so emotional, it's so real and so raw. And honestly guys, you should definitely check out the song because it is amazing. The next one is Sweet But Psycho by Ava Max. Now Ava Max has been on the scene for years but she's recently come into this pop light with this song in particular. A lot of people have been calling it very reminiscent of early Gaga. Like Fame Monster, Bad Romance, Gaga. And I can see the similarities, but I think she is definitely a lot more out there and open about herself. Whereas Gaga was more of a costumey, you know, doing whatever the record labels wanted her to do type of personality, if that makes sense. Like this girl here, she's honestly super talented. I've watched her perform live and she has an amazing vocal. Just the stage presence is super amazing. And honestly, the voice that comes out of her mouth, you would not think comes out of her mouth. You should definitely check that one out as well. Next on the list is my favorite personally, Ruin My Life by Zara Larson is honestly a bop. The song is about basically embracing a toxic relationship and just loving somebody in all of their imperfections and their flaws. And as bad as it sounds, it is such a good song because she brings it up in such a good light. It's like, honestly, I want like a crazy boyfriend to ruin my life. It's so crazy that she makes it sound so good. Not to mention the visuals in the official music video were amazing, the looks were on point, the choreography was killer. All around a great, great start to Zara Larson's new album. My next best song of 2018 is Checklist by Normani and Calvin Harris featuring Wizkid. This to me is another great song of 2018 just because it was not expected from Normani. Normani has been stringing us along with the music and then she all of a sudden just drops these two singles on us and then maybe a month or so later she drops waves on us. Like Normani has truly been killing the game this year because Love Lies had a great run. Love Lies is still like on the charts I believe right now. This song was something different for Normani and for Calvin Harris. The reggaeton influences and just the vibe and flow of the song was very different from anything Normani has ever done. And honestly, I think it's one of the best songs of 2018 just because it has that fire and that oomph in it that we didn't expect from somebody like Normani. My last favorite song of 2018, it has to be two albums in a song and it goes to Miss Jojo. If you guys didn't know, I am super obsessed with JoJo. JoJo was one of the first artists that I've ever listened to that made me fall in love with music. And if I hadn't fallen in love with music, this YouTube channel would not exist because this YouTube channel is based off of my love of music. JoJo re-recorded and re-released her first two albums, The High Road, JoJo, and her single Disaster this year. And she released it on us last minute, but honey, I was so, so happy when I realized that she did this because these albums have been missing from my streaming services for years now, and I have honestly been looking for ways to listen to them. And she just re-released them all. All new vocals, all new stems, all new everything. And honestly, that was one of the best Christmas gifts I could ever ask for this year. 
She has truly reinvented these songs and her vocals are still amazing as they were back then. There are definitely some honorable mentions. Sue Me by Sabrina Carpenter. I reacted to the video of that. I'll link that above. I think that was a great song, a great visual. Forget You Not from Little Mix's most recent album, which I also reacted to. Link is also above. That's a great song. I love the 90 influences. And it was an all around different sound. Good Night and Go from Ariana Grande Sweetener. Sweetener wasn't my favorite album, but it has some standouts. Breathe In, Good Night and Go, Pete Davidson were some of my favorites. And last but not least, Kiss and Makeup by Dua Lipa and Blackpink was another one of my favorites. This one honestly wasn't one I was expecting from Dua Lipa, but she pulled it out of the bag. This song is very rhythmic, it's very just get up and dance and I'm absolutely obsessed with that song. It is always on repeat. That's all for this video guys. Make sure you comment down below if you agree or disagree with me and some of your favorite songs of 2018 so I can check some of those out. Also make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications for my post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less honey and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye honeys.